first of all, um, apologies. This is my very, very first uh, artist talk, uh, uh, and uh, so I might be a bit nervous. And on top of that, I'm in a very rural house in uh, in the southern uh, southern Czech Republic, and uh, and the connection might be playing up uh, from time to time. So uh, apologies for the connection as well. Uh, otherwise, I hope this all goes very smoothly. I've got quite a few slides to go through. Most of them are just single pictures, but there's some slides for, for thinking as well. So uh, let's just start with it now. Uh, so I think first of all, I'll just tell you a little bit about myself, then I'll go through uh, uh, some some other of my projects, uh, and then I'll give you a brief window into what uh, protest photography can be or what it has been to me. Uh, and then I'll move to my actual work on, on the protests, uh, which I've broken into the UK protests, into protests in Beirut and Prague, and some new stuff that I've done on the panoramic camera. Right, let's start here. Uh, so yeah, I'm quite a newbie, 1976 in Czechoslovakia, born. My first camera was a Pentax P30, which I got back when I was 16. I'm still with the same brand. Um, so, uh, yeah, no one's going to pull me away from them. <laughs> uh, I have worked for local newspapers here in the Czech Republic, a uh, couple of them, in fact, uh, and then I started working as a reporter for the Czech News Agency, but that was a, a writing job rather than a photography job. Um, so I did photography just uh, as a, as a one-off sort of uh, little job uh, alongside the, the writing. Um, I moved to the UK in January 2006. And uh, since then, I've been working for a medical company who uh, we called Cochlear. We make uh, hearing implants for hearing impaired people. Uh, so that's my daily job. But my uh, obsession with photography uh, doesn't let me sleep. So I've been working on various projects that I'll, I'll show you later in the presentation. Uh, and I also st started studying at this, at this uh, 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 golden age of mine. I started studying uh, Institute of Creative Photo Photography in, in Czech again. So I I uh, fly to Czech several times a year uh, for my consultations, and I'm about to finish that school uh, with a, a bachelor thesis and guess the uh, topic. The topic is actually a, a photography of protest uh, in the Czech Republic after 1989, which is the sort of breaking point when the communism fell. Right, that was in short about me. Now, my photographic influence, I would say, is, is, is these uh, uh, seven people, the, the most of them. Uh, so, Tony Ray Jones, uh, William Klein, you, you will see quite a few uh, uh, pictures of mine which may resemble the sort of dynamics of uh, William's uh, imaging. Uh, Josef Kodelka uh, and uh, Marketa Luskacheva are my two biggest uh, Czech uh, uh, heroes uh, of photography. Uh, David Hearn, uh, Martin Parr, and Arne Katia Bresson. So they, these would be the seven that I kind of, I see their uh, uh, steps, uh, I see their uh, uh, pieces of their work in, in my in my imaging as well, and I can I, I sometimes aspire when I see something and, uh, through the camera. I kind of go back to what I've seen in their work, and, and I kind of aspire to to uh, to to just do the similar uh, or catch the similar moment or, or so on. Um, I start with this. So this is just a little. <laughs> plug uh, a sales pitch <laughs> for my book uh, that I self-published in uh, 2017. This is very different from what I do now. This is a, a, a kind of a serious uh, uh, social documentary stuff about survivors of the uh, Second World War genocide in, in then uh, uh, independent state of Croatia, uh, where the uh, Croat, the Croatian uh, uh, 
kind of a, a Nazi state uh, that they created to prove to Hitler that they are better than him. So they started um, uh, uh, murdering uh, Jews, Serbs and Roma people. And I've spoken to 22 survivors uh, from on the Serbian side, uh, which are now very frail uh, people in their 90s. Uh, and uh, I've, I've captured their stories and, and uh, kind of tried to uh, capture their emotions as well in, in pictures, which are far from what I do now, but, but I've tried to be as honest as, as possible in the sort of imagery uh, that I took away from it. Uh, the book is also uh, largely based on hand gestures, which you don't see here, but uh, basically I've, I've put quite a lot of uh, emphasis on the hand gestures of, of, of each of these uh, people. And, and to me, the hands kind of represent their, their emotions and their story and they kind of the, the, the uh, language uh, that breaks every barrier because these people couldn't speak about their experience for decades. So moving on, uh, this is a, a, a project about a, a little village in Slovakia where I have a holiday house and uh, I've, I've basically been photographing the local people since about 2008. Uh, uh, just for your maybe uh, uh, interest, uh, I've mentioned Marketa Luskacheva, the, the, the big Czech photographer who actually lives in London these days. Uh, so, so she started her career in in, in the same village. Uh, surprisingly, this little village uh, kind of attracted her by being at the at the end of the road, and she started her project about the sort of life at the end of the road uh, uh, back then in 1967. I think was her first images from here, from uh, Shumiat. I didn't know about this when I was buying the house, uh, but kind of by by the sheer uh, beauty of the place, I started taking the pictures as well. And now I've got quite a, a, a big series of images as well from, from Shumiats. Uh, the next uh, series I want to introduce is, uh, is my only color series. Uh, so I've been photographing car boot sales uh, in the south of England for, for several years as well. Uh, and to me, this is uh, one of the sort of unique British uh, uh, environment, uh, just like the sort of beaches that, that a lot of uh, photographers, uh, including Tony Ray Jones and uh, Martin Parr, used to photograph. So, so these car boot sales to me represent something very British as well. And uh, so that's one of the series that I'm kind of developing into, into potentially another book. Uh, so uh, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'm thinking uh, maybe a couple more years until it matures and then I'll be ready to, to look for some publisher. Um, here's another series that I've been doing in Britain, surprisingly. Uh, so these are all images uh, of the Serbian community in Britain. And, and this, is the, this is basically how I got to the topic of the genocide in the Second World War. Uh, I, I was looking for a for a minority or communi uh, community of, of immigrants in, in Britain that I would kind of follow uh, uh, what you know their lives are in, in, in Britain and uh, sort of what you know how they organize how they you know what, what are they what, what do they keep from from the homeland you know and so on so I've started following the Serbian community in Britain. And again, that's been going on for about five or six years. So I've got quite a quite a series, not just about the sort of uh, religious uh, side of, of their life, but I've got uh, images from uh, basically any any sort of uh, activities that they do, including uh, uh, their uh, ambassadors and so on. So, so a kind of complete series of, of the uh, Serbian life in Britain. And uh, recently, ever since I uh, met my lovely fiance, uh, Diela, who's on the call as well, so I have to behave. Uh, and so I've started uh, photographing life in, uh, in Lebanon whenever I get the chance to go there. To me, Lebanon is, 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 in, is an incredible country with amazing people and something 
something pure, some sort of a, a soul in the people, which at the same time is is broken by everything that's happening ever since you know the, the wars, the civil war in, in the last century, and and the recent uh, uh, events and the crisis. Uh, but at the same time, that they, they manage to be, or at least uh, to to give the impression of being happy, uh, which which is which is incredible uh, and uh, really it's touching. Uh, so so I I just I want to continue this as long as I as I can, of course. Uh, right. So now to the topic of the call uh, or of this of this artist talk. So. Uh, so basically, I'm going to take you through my protest photograph, and I group them by the uh, sort of topics uh, that uh, that the uh, protests represent. So uh, uh, I will, but before that, <laughs> actually before that, I'm going to take you through some of some of my uh, thinking about protests. So this is obviously not a photograph, but uh, uh, if you go into any of of current. Uh, photographs of protest, uh, you will see photographers aspiring to to show or to, to capture a moment such as this painting by, by, by Delacroix. So, so this is such an iconic painting that even in a world of photography, you know, people would strive to, to get a, a moment like this uh, into an image. And, 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 and through, the, through these sort of icons, you could see that there are some themes that are developing in, in the photography of of protest uh, and those themes if you focus on them too much they they become cliches but but in 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 general they're, they're kind of like a a uniting uh, uh point in in the photography of protest uh, so here's a few examples of of the iconic pictures from Different decades. Uh, you, you probably know most of these. I mean, but, uh, probably the mo most famous one is the first one. is is basically the the the, the Chinese uh, image from uh, from uh, uh, Beijing, where this single protester uh, uh, is stopping a, a column of tanks. The next one is from a, a, a monk who's protesting against the war in in Vietnam. Uh, this next one is is from American recent American. Uh, Protests a couple of years ago. Uh, this fourth one is Bruno Barbi. I think this is from France, from Paris. Uh, protests in, I think, 1960s. Uh, you will obviously know this one. So this is from, from uh, London, and this is from protests uh, against the, the Cuban uh, uh, missile crisis. Um, this one is is a is a fresh fresher one. This is by Thomas Dvorak, uh, who's the uh, current uh, director of Magnum Photos, and this is from Kyrgyzstan. This black and white one is 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 I think very famous for the Swedes. Uh, this is a I think situation in Sweden where uh, an old lady is beating a Nazi uh, uh, ultra nationalist. Uh, with an umbrella uh, during their kind of uh, uh, procession through through the town, and this very last one is is a very recent one, which is actually staged. This, this is something that was uh, created as as an icon, uh, uh, and uh, and this is from the recent Lebanese revolution uh, just last year. And so this is one of the sort of iconic themes that is going through the ages. Uh, of photography, uh, protest photography. So this is the what I call a flower power icon. So the first image is actually called a flower power, uh, and you can see on each of these images you have a a woman who is facing a, a power of say soldiers or policemen with a flower, and, and it's kind of an iconic symbol of of the strength of of uh, uh, you know of ordinary. The society and of women themselves uh, uh, against uh, the state power and and uh, and uh, armies uh, of any sort, and basically a symbol of peace over uh, over weapons. Uh, so so that that's going through the ages. Uh, 
and uh, these examples are I've got, I've got all the names of the pictures in in my notes uh, but because I've got it in a presentation mode I can't see the notes now so I, uh, I can <laughs> I, I know that uh, uh, obviously the, the, the two on the right hand side uh, are from Lebanon again uh, the the one the, the the bottom left one that's from Belarus. that's from belarus that that's recent protests uh the one next to it i think is from india uh the one to the right of that is and that's one of the unpublished pictures from the protests around woodstock in, in america the one above that i think is from Algeria. So, and to the left, that's obviously protests again, Vietnam War against Vietnam War. So you can see that everywhere in the world, this sort of topic goes, and not just it's not just a topic of a picture, but it's 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 a theme that's repeated by the protesters themselves because it's a very strong kind of unifying uh, a theme or unif unifying. Uh, uh, symbol of, of, of a protest. This one you may know from this year. So this is from uh, the, the recent uh, Black Lives Matter protests. And this happened, uh, I think this was in, in June in London. Uh, and this is photographed by uh, my friend uh, who with the other photographers, uh, and I was, I was actually, together with all those photographers most of the day. Uh, but uh, when this was captured, I was about 200 meters away and I was capturing this. So uh, whilst this took basically the uh, uh, home pages on pretty much every you know, British newspaper and it was, uh, it was the Reuters picture of the week, I think, uh, uh, <laughs> I, I managed to get this. Uh, and uh, I was still happy with it until I got home on a tray and I saw that picture captured just 200 meters away from me. But that's the learning that I get every day in protest that not every picture is waiting just for me. Uh, there are other photographers who, who will get the better picture and, and it's, just, it's, work, it's, it's working that way. Uh, it, you know, it's, it's, uh, the, photography is a democracy. You, you know, everyone, everybody gets the opportunity and, and some, some of us are lucky, some of us not. Right, now, a bit of a question before I move on to my picture. So uh, I recently, uh, just before the photo of London uh, uh, was called off, uh, there was a few adverts for, for the photo of London exhibition uh, uh, and uh, and some of them some of the pictures were a, a lot about uh, sort of studying a, a self uh, you know photographer studying self self psychology and and so on uh, and some of the pictures i I just don't understand uh, because I'm, I'm a documentary photographer i I look around I capture what is around I don't you know I don't know how to uh, express what's inside me in pictures. Uh, so I, I wrote uh, a comment on one of those pictures uh, on Instagram, and uh, and the author, who is quite uh, I think well known in the sort of uh, artistic community, um, uh, replied something in a sense that uh, she she was she she just became agitated and, and aggravated and and uh, reply that I'm kind of using stories of other people to for my fame and for my benefit and that and that it's wrong and 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 that's and she just apply, implied that the, the reason why I, I photograph protests is to kind of uh, to to gain fame on 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 people who protest which is completely off that's just <laughs> very wrong in, in fact i'm using my pictures uh, to try to you know raise money for the different social causes and so on so on I'm, I'm, and i'm promoting the 
the reason why or reasons why people people go to the streets. I'm kind of helping some of the causes to to get you know among people because I whenever I post pictures from uh, from the protests, I uh, I always try to text about you know why what they're protest, protesting about and and so on. So, but that opened the question to me of for what what should you know the, the photography of protests. What what is it actually meant to be? Is it is it meant to be just a document of times? Are we just meant to uh, remind ourselves of the of the events because you know through those photographs, or are we meant to go any further with them? Just like on these pictures, I just kind of depicted images where photographers tried to go beyond uh, the, the the sort of usual document. So. So you know these are more of a sort of artistic uh, ways of of expressing uh, a protest. Uh, uh, some of them, you know, are not not so much artistic. Some of them are are just different uh, different te technique of, of of taking the pictures. But but it made me think of you know what are the is is there a reason why we should limit those protest photograph to just pure document. I don't think there is. Uh, I, I think I, maybe if we, if we have time at the end of it, I'd like to hear your opinions on this, but I just wanted to, to start your thinking process about this question while we go through the pictures uh, of my, uh, you know, of, of my uh, protests. Right, uh, just a few tips. So when I looked for the, uh, uh, photography of protest. Uh, I'm using several hashtags on, on Instagram most of the time. Uh, the protest does it, the protest photography does it, but you will find out that, the, for example, the protest hashtag is very much concentrating on the sort of Chile and, and uh, Central American protests uh, and the protest photography, uh, on the other hand, uh, is is focusing, I think, quite a lot on, uh, and just, I, I hope I don't get it wrong, but it's, uh, um, well, well, I will get it wrong if I don't look at it. So never mind. So just be careful because there are, you know, a, a protest in, you, you can spell it in, in many, many languages and, and it usually, if you want to see protests from other countries, you want to look at the, the, the word protest in, in, in a different language. So you will have protesta, protestos, uh, protestas, and, and so on. So so if you really want to go, get the whole picture, uh, try to search via different languages as well. Uh, the Redfish stream is basically a profile on Instagram, which is publishing a lot of uh, kind of revolutionary uh, protest type of imagery. Uh, so, so and they they kind of global, so you can find uh, quite a lot of you know various uh, images from from the whole world. I've just captured a picture a picture of a book that was released just last year uh, from the Meropixis uh, archive uh, images from from the uh, uh, British uh, protests, uh, and uh, and I actually know that. Uh, uh, there are a couple more books on, on the topic of protests in in the works, uh, and uh, and they should be released next year. So, but until now, the the, the topic of protest wasn't uh, wasn't published extensively as 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 a you know focus point of of of, of, of a book. Uh, usually, you would have a book on on some sort of events or or, or on some social uh, movement and then you would have photographs as illustrations but this book is, is one of the few where it's it's based on the images and, and the text uh, is just accompanying the images right here we are uh, so starting with uh, the sort of nationalism uh, brexit and trump uh, protests in the uk uh, so I start here. This is a, a one of the ultra nationalists protests. Uh, I think this is still in the ages of EDL when they were marching through London. This is uh, near Charing Cross, and this lady on the bridge, uh, on the uh, footbridge, uh, uh, she's basically uh, not happy with them. So uh, I capture that moment uh, 
while she was signaling that to them. Uh, this is from one of the auto-nationalist demonstrations for uh, Tommy uh, Robinson. Uh, so this is in a moment when basically the whole Trafalgar Square became uh, a, a war zone and this guy just walked through uh, the barriers and uh, through the, you know, the, the police uh, uh, and, and he, he had this uh, sign on his back, uh, do you see me now, uh, which was quite, uh, quite interesting and, and, and so I'm glad I actually caught him. Uh, this is from another uh, uh, protest, pro-Brexit protest. Again, for me, I, I just love the uh, uh, the power of of the young girl standing above, you know, the group of policemen, and 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 being strong. Uh, this is uh, the group of uh, pro-Brexit protesters, protesters that used to uh, uh, basically walk through the center of London every Saturday. Uh, so they, they they were the yellow vests of Britain. They kind of, so if you remember yellow vests when they started in, in France, that was very much a social movement. Uh, and then suddenly yellow vests appeared in, uh, in, in London and uh, they became a very kind of pro-Brexit oriented as well, uh, but not just pro-Brexit, but, but they were generally pro-Brexit. So this is one of the, uh, walks through the center. Uh, this is from uh, from an anti-Brexit. Uh, this is from the very uh, very first uh, uh, big uh, protest protests against uh, Brexit. So uh, uh, seven hundred thousand people uh, were on this protest, and this is uh, uh, in one of the uh, government buildings, people would uh, just stick their stickers as high as they could. Uh, again, uh, same protest, uh, just a different message. Uh, this is from uh, one of the protests that was that was held outside uh, the parliament. Uh, if you remember, there was a few nights where where the government, oh, sorry, where the, where the parliament was. Uh, uh, was discussing discussing whether they would delay uh, uh, Brexit or not delay, and so on. And, and uh, so this was one of those protests outside Parliament. Uh, obviously, that was, both the pro-Brexit and, and anti-Brexit groups were there. This is one of those uh, protests as well, but this is the media sort of quarter. Uh, and as you can see, it's raining, so it was really cold and raining and uh, and it wasn't pleasant at all. Much of those uh, protests were really unpleasant. Uh, again, one of them, this is, uh, this, this, this is the UKIP group, but I, I kind of loved the moment when he smoked his uh, uh, e-cigar and, and, you know, the smoke kind of went out of his mouth and, and it was reflected uh, in, in the light. Uh, so I kind of, I love that moment. Uh, this is from, again, one of the Brexit uh, protests. Uh, this was one of the more aggressive protests. Uh, this is when a, a group of uh, protesters tried to swarm the parliament. Uh, they Obviously, they didn't manage to get in, but uh, this is from the parliament gates. This is uh, from another of the Brexit protests. And, and this is one of the sort of topics that I, I, I have quite frequently in my, in my pictures. And I tried to to capture a group of of people in different states of mind, and and then just go through the different you know their individual faces and see what they're thinking about. So if you if you look at this, you've got twenty different states of mind, and some of them are quite stiff. Some of them are thinking what's happening. Some of them are, are you know uh, confused, and maybe. Uh, some of them focus. Some of them annoyed. Uh, so you just get the whole scale of human emotions in one, one image, and, and that's kind of what I like. This is another one, and this is where you may see a resemblance to, to Marketa Luskacheva's work. So uh, uh, her early works uh, uh, in Shumiat specifically, where she's got a lot of those, you know, very focused faces, uh, uh, very uh, uh, high contrast between the white skin and, and the dark sort of background. So, so 
to me, that's kind of, uh, and, and that's that's what I liked about the pictures. Uh, and, and I managed to get a bit of that in, into my image from the protest as well. This is from uh, another walk of the, uh, oh, this is actually one of the protests after one of the Brexit nights. So if you remember, several uh, days, of it, we had Brexit number one, number two, number three, number four. And, and every time there was some sort of protest in London uh, to sort of either celebrate or protest that, that, that the Brexit is still not happening. And this, this is one of those, uh, one of those protests, uh, just, just roaming uh, through uh, the center. This is on, a, on the actual uh, Brexit night uh, number two, I think, in the middle of the night when uh, people were walking uh, through the, the city with their flags and, and, uh, and burning European flags. And, and so those guys basically, this was, this, these were two flags which were on, uh, on balloons, uh, hot air balloons, uh, or not, not hot air, maybe some sort of helium balloons. So, so they've, they actually, they, they flew up to the tree and the, the guys just never got them back. So they stayed there until the next day, I think. Uh, this is one of the sort of Brexit, uh, more picturesque uh, Brexit uh, protests. So some of the people uh, were obviously taking on costumes from uh, from British history and some some symbolics of, of you know Britain. Um, this is one of the machines that that they would bring to uh, to the Brexit protests. It made quite a lot of noise, uh, but it, it was uh, like an interesting. Uh, interesting creation. Uh, this is uh, a moment where uh, behind that barrier of, of police, man, there was as a, it was an, an ultra ultra far right uh, demonstration, which was kind of kept away from from another peaceful demo on the other side. But uh, I managed to be there right at the time when this guy came here, came there to to have a peek. And uh, and <laughs> because of the nature of of his back, it just 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 a very peculiar shot, uh, very unusual. Uh, this is from one of the uh, anti-Brexit uh, uh, protests. Uh, so I just love the moment, you know, when uh, the, the sort of uh, contrast between the hundreds of thousands of people marching on the street and then this alone. A uh, woman, uh, uh, basically, uh, you know, hoping for for one of them to walk around to to give a, a penny, but but obviously everyone was uh, was on the street and, and no one was was helping. So so that was that was an interesting point as well. This is uh, again one of the sort of pro EU uh, protests. Uh, a little boy with his brother. Uh, a little boy asking, "What's that building? Uh, the Parliament building?" Uh, and uh, it was quite nice to, to actually get it all in the frame and, and quite dynamically as well with the hand and, and the and the flag. And this is one of the first sort of pro EU uh, pro EU protests, uh, and I, I just love the dynamics of the kids having fun uh, with the European flag uh, while walking the streets. And this is the same sort of dynamics, but on the other side. So this is the actual Brexit night, uh, the 31st of 30th, 31st of January uh, this year. Uh, so this is a Brexit supporter, obviously, uh, quite uh, happy and, and you know enjoying the moments of 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 his of his victory. Uh, so the same sort of dynamics as you see on the European sort of happiness of the kids you can see on, on his happiness with, with the British flag. This is also from the Brexit night, uh, as, and I kind of love the moment when, uh, uh, you know, when the sort of mist uh, from the from the different uh, uh, flash, what, what are they called, the flare, flares, uh, when, when it kind of uh, uh, Made a bit of background for for for, uh, for the statue of Winston Churchill, so it kind of plays all, all well with the with this with the uh, nice lighting situation there. And this is 
uh, just uh, a pure emotion from the moment of of uh, setting Britain free. So these are obviously Brexit supporters, just just heartfelt, you know, uh, emotion uh, about Britain leaving uh, the EU. Right. So that was uh, from the Brexit sort of uh, side. Uh, now I'm going to move to anti-racism. And Black Lives Matter. Uh, so this is more recent. This is a picture I'm, I'm really happy about. This was a, this was one of the pictures where I had to do quite a bit of thinking of where to be, because I only use wide angle lens, uh, and because there's this uh, barrier on on the side of the road, uh, and obviously she was standing on the van, and then I had to I wanted to have her right in the middle, and in about the same height as as the structures behind her. So I kind of had to think quite a lot uh, where, and I had to capture it with my hand uh, up above my head. So, uh, so this was kind of uh, one of the <laughs> more difficult pictures to capture. Uh, this is from one of the uh, one of the uh, um, basically Black Lives Matter uh, protests, uh, and, I, and I just loved the the light here because that was kind of direct sunshine. In the darkness, uh, the, the sun rays just went straight into the into the uh, uh, flag behind him. This is Black Lives Matter on Trafalgar Square. Uh, kind of again, like the emotions of of the individual people. Quite, quite, you know, people were quite uh, uh, annoyed in the end because so many pro photographers were there with the Black Lives Matter that sometimes people were even calling for the photographers to to get away to just let them protest. This is a moment uh, where I just love the structure of the, you know, of the parliament uh, being being hidden, the scaffolding, and then uh, and then this Muslim woman sitting in a car and protesting. Uh, so I just uh, kind of enjoy that uh, contrast. This is uh, basically one situation in two different images. So this is uh, arresting at one of the Black Lives Matter protests and. I just love the dynamics of this picture, but I also love the expression in his face on, on this picture, so I kept on both of them. Again, Black Lives Matter on Trafalgar Square. This is uh, by the US Embassy, and, and I just like the uh, contrast of the, uh, uh, of, uh, of the hat uh, and uh, with you know the sort of scenery and and, and the lady to the right uh, with her fist up. This is another picture from Black Lives Matter and uh, just just showing that everyone was was constantly streaming and taking pictures and people would have several cameras uh, and uh, several phones and and different formats, uh, analog cameras and so on. So really that, that, that movement was not just about the protest, but it kind of awoke a, a, a lot of creativity in people and a lot of young people came to the protest with their, with their cameras and, and captured the whole lot. Um, this is again, this is just a, a, a detail from, from one of the Black Lives Matter and specifically LGBTQI sort of section of the protest. Because it's black and white, you don't obviously see the colors on the flag, but, but it's, it's, uh, it's quite self-explanatory, I think. Uh, again, uh, quite a dynamic picture from uh, one of those protests. This is a moment when uh, uh, the uh, Forever Family, as they call themselves, uh, is basically a sort of a, a, like a self-defense, if I can call it, a group within within the, the black uh, community, uh, they have started something like the Black Panthers. Uh, so, so a similar sort of group that that is meant to take care of safety of their own people. Uh, and and I was there when they kind of had their first uh, uh, showing. And th these are the members of of that uh, Forever Family. As you can see, they're all massive blokes. Uh, and uh, so I, I, with my sort of uh, small stature, I, I was uh, I was quite tiny next to them. But but in general, they were all very friendly. This is one of the pictures again, sort of I sort of going towards the icons of, of a person in the middle, being on some sort of uh, uh, pillar or so on. Uh, so this is another situation 
during the Black Lives Matter protest where, where, where a guy just climbed up uh, and, uh, and uh, you know, spread his hands in, in the chains. And then there was another guy right in front of me who was, uh, who was saluting to him. Uh, so uh, I tried to capture both of them in, in one image. This is a contra protest. So this is uh, so after, as you probably remember, after the toppling of the uh, of the Bristol statue, uh, there was quite an uprising of the of the far right uh, protesters, and they would uh, come to London to guard the statues. And this is from one of the bigger protests right after the toppling. Uh, and uh, and uh, to the left, there's a there's a police barrier that is basically protecting. And splitting, uh, splitting the, the road to, to Trafalgar. So on Trafalgar Square, that was reserved for the Black Lives Matter protests, and the Parliament Square was re reserved for these uh, sort of far right protesters. And this is the far right side. Uh, during this protest, five of the journalists or photographers who were there were attacked. Uh, so it wasn't really a, a very friendly, friendly uh, uh, crew in there. This is just a, a reminder of one of the sort of uh, uh, icons of the protests against, against Trump. So this, this was a group of, of ladies who obviously was kind of mimicking the uh, Handmaid's Tale uh, topic, where uh, as you, for those who know that series, it, it's, it's a lot about uh, 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 like a, a society in future where uh, certain women who are privileged to, to be uh, wives of the leaders uh, basically use other women who are not privileged uh, to to born uh, their their children and to raise their children and as servants and so on. So this is the sort of the, the handmaids were the servants and they used to wear like um, violet red uh, clothes and this this, this white uh, sort of hat thing. Uh, so these people were mimicking it as as a sort of symbol of of where the American uh, society is heading to, uh, and this is a situation right in the middle of of an anti-racist protest. Uh, um, right, so that's that. Now I'm going to move on to some uh, uh, sort of the ecology, extinction rebellion, Fridays for Future, sort of sort of uh, ecological type of protests. This is one against a fur. So this is a regular protest that, that's happening together with the London Fashion Week, where, where the people protest against uh, the fur industry. And this is just a, 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 a quite a, a nice capture of, of a very unusual situation on the street of London. Uh, this is a, a, a basically climate uh, emergency protest. Uh, this lady goes to to many of the protests and dressed. Uh, uh, dressed like uh, uh, the uh, Statue of Liberty. Uh, so she would, uh, she would come and be quite a, quite a, a photogenic uh, a symbol of those protests. Uh, this is uh, from uh, one of the first uh, Extinction Rebellion protests. This is the, when Extinction Rebellion Close to five bridges in London. So this is a situation from one of the bridges, from Westminster Bridge, I think. And I just love the, 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 the you know, the theme of the couple sitting uh, on on the bridge, uh, talking to each other, quite I think in some some deep emotions. And then there's this policeman trying to book them in. Uh, so uh, that kind of is is a nice, uh, not not really nice, but but interesting contrast in in the city, in 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 that day. Uh, again, from the same protest, uh, just uh, just try to capture the protest in a slightly different way, uh, some dynamics. Uh, I do like the sort of front plane and 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 two or three different planes in the in the image. So so I kind of enjoy that, and that's that's going back to to, to the William Klein imagery where he he's, he might have some you know uh, very dynamic. Uh, uh, situations people are moving not not really sharp in you know in the capture but just just capturing the dynamics and and uh, and and the the black and white scale uh another image from from uh that protest 
sorry. So this is from anti-whaling uh, protests. Uh, again, quite dynamic picture. Uh, this is one of the sort of situations that I kind of laugh when when children are taking part in in, in demonstrations that are very genuine and and uh, so I love capturing that uh, joy from the from the protest. This is a protest again against uh, elephant hunting and then sort of uh, trade with ivory. Uh, so, uh, so as you can see, people are dressed. Uh, and sometimes people just I think go over the top with with the costumes. Uh, it, it just becomes more of a. Uh, it, it just does. I think they, they try. They do it to grab the attention of the of the media, but in the end, the, the effect is that it. It doesn't look as a serious protest. It just looks uh, like uh, a, a play or, or like a theatre, like a theatrical outing. Uh, so, so although obviously the topic behind it is very serious, the fact that you have people coming in hats with you know little uh, elephants just doesn't doesn't add to the seriousness of the situation. Uh, this is from Fridays for Future, uh, kids in the, in the streets, which amazing movement and some really amazing dynamics in, in the protests. Uh, I just love the, you know, the, 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 and I, I promise I didn't do anything about the eye. The, the eye is there as it, as it was. So the sort of beautiful, clear, white eye uh, on the dark skin, it, it just, it's just gorgeous. I just love it. Uh, Again, Extinction Rebellion, this is when they shut down uh, Oxford Street and Oxford Circus. But again, I didn't try to capture the, the, the simple closing down. I, I tried to get a situation uh, from that day that was sort of unusual, if, if you want. Uh, another ecological protest for fair trade. And this is Extinction Rebellion uh, outside Down Street. Uh, and again, just a, a detail of, of the symbols of Extinction Rebellion. And this is Fridays for Future again. Uh, again, quite dynamic image of, of a student uh, carrying a, a banner or something and just, just shouting out. Right. Uh, another section, so the sort of equality, Me Too, LGBTQI. So those were the sort of main topics uh, within sort of this group. So this is from uh, from the Pride. Uh, I still consider the Pride to be a protest, although some people just see it as a show, but to me it's still a protest for, for equality. And I just love this, the, uh, the, you know, the, the colorful, uh, the, the variability of, of 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 people there, they did different clothes and uh, and so on. I just I just love that. This is from Million Women Rise. Uh, just a great situation where the, the policewoman took part in the joy of the protesters and just had a dance with them. So so I, I had to have it. Again, Million Women Rise. This is when they reached uh, uh, Trafalgar Square, uh, and you can see that that the, the women are from various different backgrounds. Uh, the, the lady with the flag is actually from the Kurdish women group. Uh, I, I've seen her in many Kurdish demonstrations. Uh, so so you would you would after after the years of photographing protests you would you would know some faces very well and you know where to expect them and so on. So and, and with some of them you become friends, with some of them you just you know you just know each other. So and it's great because they're used to you and and they, they know that you're not there just to, just to you know, just as a one-off. Another Million Women Rise, some dynamics. This is from a, a, a basically a, a pro-choice protest. Uh, so uh, every year there's a, there's a pro-life protest uh, in London, uh, which is quite a big protest actually. Uh, which is actually, uh, which is obviously against abortions, uh, and, uh, and and this is on that same day, and right opposite opposite this group was this pro-life demonstration, but this is the pro-choice, and they they were basically screaming across uh, the pavement at each other, 
uh, I'm trying to be louder than the other side, which was quite a, a, a strange situation uh, for some, some of the people in there. This is from uh, a protest in support of, of uh, LGBTQI community. I think in Chechnya, where there was some some purges on 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 that community uh, quite recently. This is from the Pride as well. Just a, a kind of a typ typical London esque uh, image, <laughs> if you want. Uh, this is uh, from a uh, an anti racism demo, actually. But uh, I just I just love the white. I don't know why I I, I had it here. Uh, yeah, probably in a different different topic demo, but but the vibes are similar to to what's in, uh, what's you could see in these LGBTQI uh, demos. Uh, another pride, another situation which is kind of very private. So these uh, two young boys obviously having a very intimate moment, but I, I managed to capture them. Uh, I have to admit, that I'm not if, when I'm shooting protests. I'm not asking if I can take the picture. I will wait for people to tell me, you know, to, to delete it or ask ask why I'm taking the pictures. But I just couldn't, I can't let these moments go by asking, you know, it's just not going to happen. And this is when I talked about the pro-choice group. So this is the other side, the pro-life group. And and so the, the people behind this uh, little girl in front, they were quite... You know, quite loudly shouting at, uh, uh, to, towards the other side, and and this little girl was standing in the middle of them. She was with the pro-life group, but she seemed to be very confused and focused, and, and was thinking. And I don't really know what she was thinking, but but because she was right in the middle, and and she she looked like you know confused. I just thought I'd I need to have her emotion as well. And this is from a. Uh, uh, one of the, although it doesn't look like it, it's from one of the uh, million women uh, rise uh, protests, and this is uh, this is on Trafalgar Square. Just a moment on the side of the protest. So I do like uh, sort of fringes of the protest and, and and the spectators of what's happening in there. And this was quite, <laughs> and I yeah, this is a lucky moment, of course. I, I wasn't planning for the bird to be there, but. But it just looks funny when that guy is looking at his chip uh, and uh, and and uh, crisp and and uh, and the bird is right right on it. Uh, all right. So next one is sort of this the healthcare, education, and social and religious type of protest. And uh, and so this is I don't know what again. I don't know why I have, have I have this mixed up. So this is a pro-life demo. I'm just gonna so, so just referring to the previous group, another pro-life demo. So uh, you can see the sort of uh, uh, sort of religious link to the pro-life demo as well, and, and and sort of national tradition and and mixing the sort of traditional religionism with with the national pride as well. That's that's a common theme. Of, of that demonstration. Uh, this is a, a science demo. So scientists were protesting uh, for uh, basically against cats in, in science. This is a pro NHS demo. And I just loved the moment when this little girl uh, had a private moment with her mom. Uh, I do have another image of, of this little girl and her mom. And it was, that, it was the only one when I captured her talking to the to the unborn uh, uh, sibling in the in you know in the mum's belly, so that that's even more private uh, moment. But this one was nice as well because of the other girl you know in inside uh, inside the uh, the banner who's looking at me. This is a, a May Day demonstration, uh, so just d different symbols as you can see. I mean, I, I, obviously I come from a from a communist bloc, and uh, and when I showed this to, to my friends uh, here in Czech, uh, they, they they were really like asking, are, are people with these symbols really walking through London? Uh, we kind of tried to, uh, you know, in, in our country, uh, our countries, uh, we're trying to avoid those symbols as much as 
we can, but obviously there are, you know, there's a, pro- pro- there's a democracy, so people can uh, can have their own uh, opinion. And that's something that we still need to learn, I think, in, in the Czech and, and the, in the Eastern Bloc, that people can show their opinion uh, freely and openly in the streets. Uh, and Adam made a demo uh, image, uh, kind of like the, again, the group image where people are, each of them, you know, having their own situation. And that's going back to the sort of Cartier Bresson's uh, uh, images where he also had, uh, you know, several different situations in the image, uh, which which kind of uh, didn't, uh, didn't all, uh, you know, work together. There were separate situations of separate people. So, so I, I kind of I try to use that in my images as well. This is another NHS demo, uh, quite poignant, poignant uh, look from uh, from the mask. This is uh, anti sort of Tory uh, protest. Uh, like I said, I do I do like when when kids take part in the protest and when they have their own little worlds inside the crowd. So. So this girl who was just thinking about something in the middle of a tired crowd when they reached the Square was, was just like, I, I love it. This is uh, from uh, the, the protests uh, following, uh, and I, just seriously, I just, as I'm talking, I'm forgetting, uh, a Grenfell Tower fire. So, so this is just a little detail in memoriam of, of the Grenfell Tower. Uh, so this is a policeman just wearing uh, the, you know, the scarf in, in, in the colours. Uh, this is another Grenfell protest. And again, the sort of fringe situation where uh, people are sometimes using the background of the protest as a, as a background for their wedding pictures. So I just try to capture part of that as well. Uh, another Grenfell demo walking past uh, a sweet shop or a cafe. Uh, so I took uh, the image from inside a cafe uh, in the middle of a conversation of this of this couple in front of me. Uh, another sort of uh, uh, anti-government protest. And another one which is kind of uh, even more uh, uh, more emotional and, and, and dynamic, so uh, rage, rage. These are the students who recently protested uh, against uh, the idea of their, their scores being calculated by an algorithm. So this this was one of the uh, one of the student demonstrations in London against that algorithm, and, and I think the, the government then made a U-turn, uh, so the algorithm wasn't used. And this is a protest against closing some of the uh, uh, social, I think, school centres in uh, uh, in one of the uh, London's uh, uh, London's uh, uh, areas. And I, I won't tell you where it was now. I've got it all written, I promise. But I, I just by looking at the pictures, I I, I forget. And uh, never mind. I just love the situation of the little girl having, you know, her her own private uh, uh, Skywalker moment uh, in the middle of that protesting crowd. All right, next one. So this is a special sort of type of protest that I, I enjoy taking pictures of when when minorities or the sort of diasporas in, in London, when they go into the streets supporting their, their local causes, and, and many times these these protests have uh, have a very unique vibe. They're very energetic, very vibrant, and uh, and dynamic. So, so this is from a, from a Kurdish uh, demonstration. Uh, this is one of those moments. Uh, you know, the protests against. Uh, I don't know if it was the Afrin uh, invasion uh, by Turkey. Uh, so, uh, so uh, this is one of the protests uh, in London as well. It doesn't look like in London, but it is, uh, it is basically a couple of, uh, of meters from uh, Number Ten Downing Street. Uh, this is another Kurdish protest, and I just love the uh, expression of the guy looking at me. Uh, it's just there's, there's something very deep that I can't define. Uh, almost, uh, yeah, yeah, very, very strange. Very strange look. 
Uh, this is, I think, Sudanese uh, protest. Uh, there's another Sudanese protest here, uh, just a very interesting type of person, you know, interesting clothing. And then the girl in, in the corner who is very, uh, very nervous about me taking a picture. I just, it's, it's a nice sort of uh, cherry on the top. Uh, here's a Zimbabwean pro protest, which are, again, they're quite regular. Um, this is a Syrian protest. Uh, this is eight years since the start of the, uh, uh, the Syrian war. Uh, so this is a little, little girl uh, in, in one of the London's parks. This is, I think, Algerian protest. Um, this is Lebanese protest. Another Lebanese protest. This look in the eyes is just, uh, yeah, again, uh, very, very, very deep. And uh, this is uh, 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 Kashmirian protest, sorry, Kash Kashmirian protest so, uh, against the Indian. Uh, Indian uh, uh, rule in, in Kashmir. Again, Kashmir protest. And another Kashmir protest, just just to see the, the crowd of photographers behind this guy who's, who's just doing a little theater for them and then they follow in him. It was basically, uh, I don't know, 50, 50 odd photographers just following this guy who was, uh, who was uh, uh, dragging this, this uh, uh, mascot of, of of the Indian Prime Minister on on uh, on the road and uh, and people were kicking it and everybody was taking pictures of that. So that's not the sort of not the sort of pictures that I would love to take at a protest. And other people obviously enjoyed it, but it's not the sort of type the photo photograph that I want to capture. This is a protest of the Serbian community against the the new law in Montenegro. Uh, which basically uh, uh, allows a, a grab of the of the properties of the Serbian Orthodox Church in, in Montenegro. So that was a, a protest of the Serbian community outside uh, the embassy. And this is uh, a Yemeni's uh, demo, which was sort of which which merged in the end with the Black Lives Matter demonstrations. Uh, because it was happening at the same time. Another Yemeni's demo picture, I just loved the moment when these three ladies, you know, stood there and, and then the light wind uh, sort of lifted the scarf, uh, just a nice moment. This is Nigeria, this is the anti SARS demos that quite, uh, again, quite recent demonstrations. <clears throat> and this, this lady was having quite a, a, a lively, uh, uh, you know, uh, gesture, gestures and protesting and, and 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 shouting. But I just I just loved to, to I lifted the camera a little bit to to get the plane above the hand uh, and with the eyes of the people behind her, so I could you know get get the background as well. And and I just I just like like dynamics of this image. And this is a, a Belarusian uh, demonstration against outside number 10 down the street uh, uh, against the recent uh, crackdowns uh, on, on, on the protests in, in Belarus. So, uh, and just behind me was another demonstration by the, the Lebanese community following uh, the blast in the Beirut port. So, so, that, so they kind of, in the end, they, they supported each other in, in the chants, uh, which, was, which was great to see, you know, two completely different causes, just, just the people joining in, in the protest vibes. All right, next one, and this is, uh, this is sort of recent stuff with the COVID age, uh, obviously a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, emotions amongst people and then people go to the streets to protest against the lockdown and the regulations. Uh, so, uh, uh, so this is from, from those recent protests. Uh, quite a, a telling image of one of the banners. Although I don't usually photograph banners, uh, this kind of, with together with the flag and the background of the Trafalgar Square of the National Gallery just gives me a, a total uh, kind of, you know, a symbol of, of, of the age uh, that's happening and what's happening in the streets now. 
Uh, Hyde Park Corner, uh, Speaker's Corner. Sorry. Uh, yeah, a lot of uh, uh, prophets, if I can call it, uh, basically people uh, preaching uh, different uh, texts, uh, either Bible or Quran, uh, are standing meters away from each other in the middle of a protest. Uh, and the protest is just watching over uh, and listening and just sometimes taking fun of them and so on. Very, very surreal situation happening these days. Again, a very surreal situation. Uh, Trafalgar Square in the middle of, a, of an anti-lockdown protest, uh, this sort of view. Uh, I wasn't expecting it. Uh, and it just, it just adds to the mixture of the weird, uh, situ unusual situations that you can see on the streets these days. This is from uh, an anti-lockdown protest in in, uh, in Hyde Park, and this is just some arrests taking place. But uh, you know, this was just a very emotional moment. Uh, this this girl was uh, parted from her boyfriend who was arrested, and she she basically. Uh, 15 minutes she, she had quite a quite a, a, a very heavy emotional episode uh, trying to, to to get back to her boyfriend and, and they wouldn't met her and so on so that was a very very emotional moment uh, another one of those protests uh, getting quite violent this was at a moment when when the chaps were were pushing basically back the riot uh, police unit so uh, it was quite a violent moment. Uh, this is uh, just a moment from uh, a snap from Trafalgar Square again. Uh, I do have a, a sort of a feeling that some some of those are uh, kind of becoming like a, a almost like a sectarian uh, topics like the, you know the anti sort of vaccine and so on. And those people. Are almost religiously believing in in what they're hearing in, in in the protests, and and this is just a symbol of that. This this guy is just just lifting his hands as as he was praying to the speaker, although the speaker isn't actually anyone you know religious. And this again another surreal situation. This lady dressed in face masks, uh, which only you know a few months ago uh, were really hard to get by. Uh, you couldn't buy them anywhere. And this lady is just has just wasted about a hundred of them to to dress in them just to show the you know uh, uh, her opinion her opinion about uh, about the lockdown. Police uh, guarding uh, the anti-lockdown protests and and getting ready to arrest. And this is uh, although it looks like uh, from Black Lives Matter protest, this is actually from an anti-lockdown protest. Uh, when police are arresting one of the protesters. Right, a, a quick snapshot from my Prague uh, protests, uh, protest images. So this is, these are anti-government protests uh, against the current government and current president uh, in Czech. Uh, both protests took, took, took place on the sort of anniversary year of the, of the Velvet Revolution. Uh, and, and this is the place where the protests back in 1989 were taking place. So it was hugely symbolic for the Czechs to be there again and to fill the Latna plain again. So, so, uh, so it was like a, one of the, so the, the biggest demonstrations since the, the Velvet Revolution. Uh, you can see the people on top of that, uh, you know, tall building. So that was full of people and photographers. And, and so was the plane behind me. Uh, it was about 250,000 people by the estimate. It's just uh, an image of, of that day, which is different from most of my other protest images. I just love the, the lonely uh, flag there in, you know, on the background of the sun. Uh, just a you know, little intimate moment for, for a family and the protest. Another sort of more, more of a, an artistic, moment where you know you've got this guy with his head on, on the bottom left corner and th this these balloons as if they were his thoughts uh, in the middle of that demo so that's kind of a symbol symbol of, of the of the thinking uh kids on a tree with check flags uh just uh, uh 
uh, you know, wait, just spending the time while their parents were protesting. A private moment for, of a couple at the protest at the end, you know, sort of far end of the protest crowd. Right, going to the uh, Beirut. So again, just a few images from, from Beirut Taura. So the Taura is, is basically a, a, a revolution in, in Arabic. Uh, and it is, it, this particular revolution started in October 19, uh, sorry, uh, uh, 2019. Uh, and it, it hasn't really stopped, although obviously it, it, it kind of, uh, uh, it, it uh, uh, resided quite a lot. And then it woke up uh, after the Beirut blast again. And, uh, but people just, because the situation is so dire in, in, in the country, people are now just focusing on, on few surviving and, and so the protesting is not as as, as lively as, as it used to be. But it used to be really an amazing, incredible vibe in, in the streets. I only had you know the chance for a couple of days, but but this was this was lasting for months and people were really uh chanting their hearts out uh and, and protesting and and they, sometimes they were met with brute force of the police and security forces and 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 so on and it's so so really a very emotional protest uh, and this this kind of image goes uh, brings me back to the image of, of you know the, the painting by delacroix of of uh, you know of the uh, of the flag bearer uh, uh, so so that kind of to me that the, the uh, uh, triangle composition of, of that just reminds me of that a, a dynamic image in the middle of a crowd. Uh, this is these people are building uh, uh, basically a statue uh, from uh, the, the the sort of remains of of the stores that that were that that the protesters built in in the square. Uh, so that those stores were destroyed by. Uh, by some, uh, you know, by some groups of, of unsympathetic people, uh, and and people, uh, and so so these artists were just turning the waste into artistic statues and and so on. So this is one of those examples. Uh, people dancing dabka, uh, the, the sort of national dance, uh, you know, the so the, the spirit of the Lebanese is really is strong in in the middle of all that. Mayhem, uh, they, they still keep that spirit and, and strong togetherness, which is incredible. Uh, another image just, just, just uh, from the middle of the square. Uh, another one that sort of goes right, uh, you know, close, close up to, to, to the protesters. Uh, another. And if this one is one of those where, again, I was looking at you know, be, people's states of mind. So this boy obviously is thinking about something uh, right in the middle of, 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 of that protest when people are screaming around him and, and, uh, and chanting and so on. So I like that moment. Right, and now I'm going to the very latest stuff. So uh, with the COVID age, I also tried to sort of reinvent myself. And uh, so I bought myself an, a very old panoramic camera and I went to the protests with with this massive analog camera, and and I had to learn everything from scratch. So those images are really not very good. But just to show you what sort of stuff I've been doing recently. So because it's panoramic, you have to choose the topics, and and obviously the sort of group mass massive pictures are fitting that format quite well. Uh, so uh, you know I'm capturing the sort of crowds rather than details. You can't also go very close with that camera. Uh, that has limits to how, how, you know, minimum focusing is, I think, three meters. So it's, it's quite limiting in that sense. But you, you, you can still capture the crowds uh, quite wide and, and, and detailed as well. So, so that's just what I'm doing now. And uh, right, I think I got to the end of it. So if you want to see more of my images, you can check out my website on www.davidsladek.com. Obviously, I've got my Instagram, uh, David Sladek Photographer. Um, 
I have uh, just mentioned my book here. Uh, I, I, I talked to um, David Hoffman, who is one of the uh, well-known British photographers of, of protest. And uh, I talked to him about uh, uh, about my project of, of that book about uh, protests, and uh, and I showed him uh, sort of a demo. And just for your just for your information, this is what the demo looks like. It's 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 a demo of 400 plus pages, which is very very big. And I don't want to have it as big, but uh, but I'm sort of trying to uh, uh, you know to have more before I cut down to less. Uh, so I discussed that, that format with him, uh, and uh, and he said that, uh, and he put, uh, he gave me a quite interesting question, and that was, uh, uh, what what do you expect from that book? What what is it meant to you know give you? What is it meant to represent? Is it, is it just a pure document, or is it some sort of artistic statement, and so on? So. Uh, um, so that, that's one of the big questions I have in my head now. Where to go from here? Do I just want to carry on, you know, endlessly uh, documenting the protests, uh, or do I want to move on somewhere else? <laughs>